Hi and welcome to Rainbow Unicorn Cat channel. We got some doll mail today and I can't wait to share it with you. Most of these are retired American girl outfits. If you're wondering why this is the third video in a row where I'm the narrator and not Cat, well, Cat's having a really good summer. She'll be back tomorrow for summer 2003 catalog for flip through. If you already miss her, drop us a comment below. I'm sure she would love to hear that. Everything you're going to see in this video was purchased by me in a Facebook group for $50, and that includes shipping. And by the way, if you are new to our channel and interested in everything American Girl related, I would definitely recommend subscribing. And if you ring that notification bell, YouTube will always let you know when we upload a new video. We usually post every Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but sometimes we post on other days as well. Fridays are usually DIY videos, and Sundays are old catalog flip-through videos. The first outfit is my favorite of this batch. This one is called Weekend Fun Outfit version number 2. It was released in 2012 and retired in 2015, and the retail price was $30. Just look at this shirt. It's just so fun. The print is awesome. This entire outfit feels new. Like, you know when you just take an outfit out of the box and it's just perfect? This is how this outfit feels. It's clean, it's crisp, no signs of wear whatsoever. And I know vests aren't trendy right now, but hey, who knows? Maybe I can keep this outfit for the next American Girl historical doll that might come out in another 10 years. Maybe earlier, why not? She'll probably live in the year 2009 or 2010. This outfit would be perfect for her. The jeans are really nice. The fabric is thick. And look at these shoes. They are so cute. The color is definitely not something that I would personally wear, but hey, they go so well with the rest of the outfit. Look, they even have a stretchy bag. And there is this cool floral print on the bottom of the shoe. Really cool. As I already mentioned, this is my favorite outfit from this batch. It's super chill, kind of boho. I can see wearing this shirt with a lot of other pieces. Vest, not so much, but the shirt. Oh, I just love the shirt. And I'm going to show you all of these outfits modeled by our dolls in the last part of the video. Now let's see what else came in this package. Okay, the color scheme is pretty similar to the previous outfit. This is definitely like circa 2010. I didn't notice this when I was filming, but it looks like my nail polish matches the skirt color. That, what a coincidence. This outfit is called Flutter Flower Outfit. It was released in 2009 and retired in 2012. And it originally retailed at $24. This outfit really is supposed to come with a barrette and a book which I didn't get, but I think the price was right. I think the print on the shirt is really cute, very girly. I love the lavender color. There are flowers, birds, and butterflies. Really cute. I really love the color of the skirt. And if you remember the year 2009, ruche details were really popular in skirts. They were popular they got popular earlier. I remember in 2005, they were already kind of in style. And I owned a few pieces too. I just think this is really cute. This is a really cute piece and it doesn't look dated. You can absolutely mix and match with anything that you have available in your American Girl collection. The shoes are also turquoise, just like the skirt, but the color is a little bit darker. They're very plain. They go with a skirt, like I said. It's a good piece to have to mix and match. But there isn't anything special about them. This outfit originally came with a barrette and a book, but we didn't get them. The next outfit I got in the slot is Western Chic Outfit. It came out in 2019 and it's still available on American Girl website for $30. It has got to be a popular outfit. It's been around for four years and it's still not on sale or clearance. 
I was actually thinking about purchasing this outfit from American Girl, but now we got it at a huge discount. I love the top. This is such a nice neutral piece and I love the ruffles. They have this white embroidery on white ruffles. It has this amazing country look. I just love it. The top and the boots are my favorite parts in this outfit. The scarf is okay and the pants are, eh, could have been better. My main issue with the pants is they are not real denim. And maybe they weren't meant to be real jeans. Maybe they were meant to be jeggings. They're okay. The scarf is cute. Paisley pattern is my grandma's favorite, so I have a soft spot for it. The boots are really cute and detailed. I love the tassels on the side. The material they used seems pretty durable. It has a really nice feel to it. In the end of this video, I'm going to show you what all the outfits look like on American Girl dolls. A mini fashion show. And let me know in the comments if fashion show videos is something that you'd like to see on our channel. I know some people enjoy them, but I'm just not sure if our subscribers would like to see them. Please let us know in the comments. We read all of them. We also received a t-shirt and a skirt from Grace Thomas's meet outfit. Grace was Girl of the Year 2015. And I don't think this outfit was sold separately. Anyway, look how cute the print is on the front of the shirt. Of course, there's Eiffel Tower because Grace went to Paris. And the back is very plain. I'm really surprised how new this shirt feels. It's very clean, like really bright white. And the skirt is very clean too. They just really feel like they were never really used. Maybe on a display doll. And if you see me casually picking some small hairs off clothes in this video, those are from our cats. And here's another outfit. And here's a two-in-one skating set. Or two-in-one ice skating set it came out in 2012 and it was retired in 2015 and it retailed at 48 dollars as you can see it's kind of two sets in one so you could make an ice skating outfit and you can make a sports practice outfit i think this outfit would look great on corinne the colors are very vibrant and the outfit just feels barely used. The sparkles on the leotards aren't rhinestones. I originally thought they were rhinestones, but they actually sequins. Because of the way they sewn onto the leotard, they kind of look like rhinestones. I love the details on the back. I was not expecting the cutouts. It gives it just something a little bit extra. The last outfit from this package is Julie's outfit. That's Be Forever Julie's outfit. Also comes with some accessories, her hat and the bag. This is a more historically accurate version of Julie's outfit. The bag has seen better days, but that's to be expected because of the material it's made of. It's kind of faux suede and I can see the top layers peeling off. Here Julie's pants, and I already have this outfit, so I'm thinking maybe I should customize the pants. Make them a little bit different so Julie doesn't have the same pants. Maybe add some embroidery. Let me know what you think about it. This outfit doesn't really sell for much on the secondary market, so I might as well customize it. And I'm thinking about dyeing this shirt a different color. Possibly yellow. Let me know in the comments what color you think this shirt would like look great in. I like yellow because it is one of Julie's signature colors, but also because the blue embroidery will turn green. And this hat would probably look great in dark navy or even black.
that's it for today thank you for watching our video if you enjoyed it don't forget to give us thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to our channel yet but interested in all things american girl you should definitely do so we post all the latest american girl news crafts and unboxing we post every wednesday friday saturday and sunday on fridays we post american girl diys and on sundays we post catalog flip throughs and if you turn on the notification bell youtube will always let you know when we upload a new video thanks for watching and see you next time